What up, YouTube? This is Sky Viper Pro. This is a GPS uh, Sky Viper. Um, this is one that I did a price match guarantee uh, at Toys R Us. I showed them Walmart's price online, and I got this for like a hundred, hundred and ten, hundred and twenty dollars off. Um, I'm gonna show you the flyability of this. As far as a GPS quad, it works okay as a GPS quad, but it's not gonna be precision, precision because again, you're not paying for precision, precision even when you're paying high retail on it. Although high retail should have a little bit better GPS qualities than this does, but for a $150 GPS drone, this does quite well for that. So again, I'm gonna show you the flyability of this. I'm gonna show you that you can take it up high. Um, you can take it out pretty far. I did not turn off the geofencing on this. This does have geofencing. What is geofencing? Well, it's a parameter that's locked into this app that only allows the drone to fly a certain distance up and a certain distance laterally away from you. Um, is it a feature that I absolutely love? Absolutely not, because I kind of like to be able to fly where I want to. Can you turn the feature off? Yes, you can turn the feature off. Have I turned the feature off yet? No, because you have to kind of manually set up the controller to do so, and I just, I, I like grabbing and going. Um, so it's really not that big of a deterrent for me, but I will say for a beginner, if you are a beginner to flying drones, this might be a drone to consider, because if you fly way too far away from yourself, you can't fly way too far away from yourself, essentially, because the geofencing, once you hit that limit and you're flying, say, away from yourself, the thing's like it hits a brick wall. Once you hit that limit, it kind of like backpedals a little, like literally like it just hit a brick wall. It is a very good feature for uh, new flyers. And you can't see uh, can't see my screen there. I'm using a cell phone as opposed to a touchpad like I normally use, so please forgive me for that. But, um... It says I reached geofencing limit uh, in altitude. So we're up as high as we're going to be able to go here. And again, if you guys uh, are having a hard time seeing a little dot in the sky, which is the drone, you might want to put it in full screen. And next time I bring it back towards myself, then you'll be able to keep an eye on it. I didn't lose sight of this drone at all during this flight. Uh, this drone I went into with uh, not high expectations. I went into this drone with uh, poor expectations. There was a lot of complaints and a lot of poor re reviews on YouTube for this and even uh, on other sites. People said eh, they didn't like it, people returned the drone and whatnot. I absolutely love it. I mean, it is what it is. It's not a Phantom. It's not an Alcenma. It is a toy from Toys R Us that has brushless motors and has mild GPS capabilities. And it is really fun to fly. This thing gets about 20 minutes. Each time I'm seeing about 20 minute flight times with this, the battery only takes about 40 minutes to charge. So weigh that out. And as you can see, there's a little bit of the GPS hold. It bounces around a little. It really doesn't stay in place, but it kind of stays in a general proximity. Um, when it's less windy out, it will stay in a little bit more confined place where it's not going to do the bouncing around and moving around like you've just seen. But, and it, here's a lateral uh, takeout. But as you as you saw there, I would be able to sit down the controller. Is it going to bounce around in a general vicinity? Yes, absolutely. But if, like, say I had a cell phone call or something and I had to drop a, drop the controller and pick up cell phone and lose eyesight off of it, it'll be where I left it. I've already tested that out before. Um, so in that aspect, it's pretty nice. You can see me zipping. I'm zipping on a lateral plane, forward and backwards. This thing has a little bit of speed. Um, you're not gonna, you're not gonna beat a speed race with the Bugs Three with this, but uh, you will have some fun with this, guys. You know me. Um, I tell it how it is. The X8 AMG brushless drone, don't buy. <laughs> um, I've only ever encountered three drones that uh. I did not like because of uh, defect issues. One was the uh, i8, which I tried to like and I still kind of like because it kind of flies and I'm able to work with it. But the i8 has glaring issues and the uh, X8 AMG was my replacement from Gearbest. Like, hey, we're going to do you an upgrade. We're going to hook you up with that drone and it flew like crap. This, on the other hand, as you can see, does not fly like crap. Um, so definitely keep that in mind. What are you looking for in a drone? Are you are you are you at a SEMA X5C right now? Have you mastered that? Are you ready to step up to the Bugs 3, the Bugs 8? Um, ready to go for a big boy brushless drone? You might want to consider this first. If you're not good with uh, high altitude orientation, you might want to consider this because again, as high as we are now. If we go so high, it'll stop, and if we go so far lateral away from the controller, it will stop. That way, if you do lose your orientation, 
you really have a lot of time to play with your orientation. If you're pushing forward constantly and you hit that geofencing and it's not going forward, you know you have to bring it backwards. So uh, it's, it is a nice feature. Uh, for a professional flyer, it might be an annoying feature, but again, you could turn that feature off. You don't have to fly with it. You also don't have to fly with GPS. I'm flying with GPS. You can turn the GPS off, which is which is cool. I like GPS drones that you could turn that off. Um, my mini vet from Wingsland, you could turn the GPS off, but essentially the GPS is so strong that even in just altitude hold, it's dragging it a little bit. So uh, keep that in mind with that drone. I'm just touching bases on different drones, comparing it to this drone. Obviously, they're in different classes and whatnot, but just to give you a good gist and a good idea of what you're dealing with with this one. Um, it, it has some options. You're not just buying it and bam, out of the box, that's the way you got to fly it. One thing I don't like with this drone and I don't care for with this drone is the pre-flight app. The pre-flight app, you do have to go through and click stuff and hit accept and say that you got permission to fly here and whatnot. And uh, the calibration process, there you hit your geofencing right there. I have it full forward and it's not moving. Um, the app itself is a little bit extensive. And uh, you do have to do a more extensive calibration than I've generally seen. Generally, you do your rotations to the right and then maybe stand up and do a little bit more rotations this one has three sets of rotations front flips barrel rolls and yawing to calibrate the drone's compass so um it's not a bad thing but it's a little more extensive so if you're looking for a drone you just want to grab and go this probably isn't it because you're gonna have to sit and you're gonna have to play with that app first and again guys if you take notice here i'm pushing the limit with this just going forward and it won't go no forward. <laughs> it hits a brick wall. It's an invisible brick wall that this app has set. So that's, uh, again, a really neat feature. Um, I believe this is Sky Viper's top, top drone right now. I think Sky Viper needs to uh, do a little bit better. I mean, I think they could. They're selling a lot of drones. They have a lot of toy grade drones on the market. I think they could do a little bit better with this drone where they can... Uh, where they can make it more like the Bugs 3 or the Bugs 8 where you don't have that geofencing limit and, or you don't have this ridiculous app limit. I understand the app limit is like liability on their part, but uh, in the United States with these drones, we're 100% liable for what we're, we're flying, but I could see the app, they're trying to protect the person flying it with all the parameters that you have to go through. Um, guys, if you are on Facebook, check out Drone Days. The link will be at the bottom. And if you haven't subscribed to this uh, YouTube channel, Come on, click that subscribe button. You ain't gonna lose nothing by doing it. You just get notifications when I come out with another video. Uh, gen generally, they're not as long as this video. We're pushing eight minutes, and this flight is about 20 minutes long. So I'm jabber jawing through the whole thing, just trying to give you a little bit of information. Most drones I fly don't fly this long. Uh, most drones, most toy grade, toy grade brush drones are only gonna fly anywhere from seven to eight minutes, 10 to 11 minutes if you get a really good one, or or if I mod it like 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, your brushless drones, uh, the Bugs, the Bugs 8, they're seeing anywhere from 11 to 16 minutes. So that gives you a little bit of idea on uh, flight duration. Phantom, Phantom sees uh, 15 to 25 minutes depending on how you fly it and if you're recording and the wind conditions and whatnot. Uh, my wings land I think got about 20 to 22 minutes. So uh, definitely keep that in mind. Your Alcenma. Alcenma is on par with, I don't know, it's probably, I'd say the Alcenma is on par with like a 12 to 13 minute aggressive flight. So there's there's some uh, there's some time rundowns for you. Just chalking you up with information here. Anything you need to know, I'm trying to push at you and keep an eye on the drone. Fun, fun drone to be flying. Uh, and again, I bought this drone. You have a lot of reviewers on YouTube that are free reviewers. What is a free reviewer, J Drone? Well, a free reviewer is somebody who uh, comes home, there's a package at home, like, oh, I wonder what it could be. Oh, it's a drone. It's from GearBest. Awesome. I'm going to review it. And even if this doesn't perform greatly, I'm going to give it a good review. That way I get another free drone. That's not J Drone. You can trust me on that. Um, it don't matter if I get some something free, discounted, uh, trial, or if I pay 100% for it, which I pay 100% for 90% of everything I fly. I'm going to tell you how it is. 
I'm going to show you how it is. Like buzzing past my face right there, I'm going to show you how it is. If this drone was junk and uh, the barometer in it just dropped, I'd probably have a slice out of my face and I'd show you that too. <laughs> um, there's a quick buzz by myself there. So be careful, guys. Um, do your homework. I, I'm not saying I'm the best reviewer out there by any means. Am I one of the better ones? Absolutely. Um, are there a lot of junk reviewers? Absolutely. But there are still also a lot of good reviewers out there. there there's some reviewers that I still watch and I still refer back to um, and then there's some that I absolutely won't watch and now absolutely dog uh, because they're selling you on products that aren't great or they're selling you on products that are overpriced and not telling you about it and not telling you that you can get a clone or that it is a clone and it's overpriced and you can get the original one for a third of the price that's not fair to you and uh, as a consumer myself I think that's garbage. I think, hey, look, X5, or not, we, we won't even talk X5. Let's talk about the Tarantula 6. Tarantula 6, dope, dope drone. Quadrone made a copy of it. Quadrone sells that for $300. If Quadrone gave me that drone and said, dude, do us a favor, review it and test it. I'm going to review it and I'm going to test it. And if it flies just as well as the X6, I'm going to tell you that. But I'm also going to tell you that you can get it considerably cheaper by buying the original one but if you want the certain colorway you're gonna have to pay extra dollars for it I, I'll tell you hand in hand um, there's a lot of reviewers that won't do that and shame on them and guys just watch out for them I'm looking out for you I'm looking out for me I'm looking out for the new guy a new guy is gonna pay three hundred dollars for an x6 clone if they see it in the store and they gotta have a drone they don't know um, just like the, when I showed you the drones at the boardwalk, guys, those drones were ridiculously overpriced. Are people going to buy them? Absolutely, because they're on vacation and they're on like, oh, drone, I got to have a drone. This must be the dopest drone ever and pay $400 for a brush drone that has absolutely no features besides headless mode. That's no way to go. Um, keep an eye on this drone, guys. As I'm Jabber John, I'm just trying to fill the spaces here, just trying to... Fill your ears with a little bit of information. Um, this drone is a flyer. Uh, I haven't put this drone away. This is out in my arsenal of things to fly on a regular basis. And the reason that is is because it's fun and because I get a lot of flight time out of it. Um, the camera on it's pretty good. I have a camera video of it. Uh, if you're on drone days, you can check out. I think I took one still of it, one still of uh, the town over there. Um, you could see me yawing, you could see me funneling, you could see me zipping past myself. This drone has enough to consume your time and for you to actually learn how to fly a drone. And again, you could turn that GPS feature off to where you're flying manually. Bam! There's a quick buzz by J Drone's head. Talk about a headhunter. Um, and there's a fly fly straight out look at those clouds those clouds are beautiful that's also part of the reason why i like this drone thing i'm a fresh air kid and where are we at we are in the fresh air we are surrounded by clouds we are surrounded by trees we are su surrounded by mother nature that is part of this drone thing for me um there's all different aspects of the drone thing you you could want to fly fast you could want to go full tilt into FPV with racing quads. You can just screw around and y'all like that all day and find amusement out of it. Or you like nature. You want to be out in nature and you want a hobby to do that. This is that. Or you like photography. I could go on and on and on about the different aspects of droning. It is so versatile. So uh, dive in. Grab something. Enjoy it. Learn how to fly, man. Um, this thing's still going. Like I said, this gets about 20 minute flight time. We're at about 14 minutes here, guys. And you can see I'm not baby flying this. I'm actually flying it. I'm buzzing it past my head. I'm yawing quick. I'm doing tight funnels. I'm flying it up. I'm flying it out every which way just to get a really good burn on this. And uh, we're doing it. As far as camera goes, I got some dope footage. Um, unfortunately, my grass needs cut, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that footage up today. But uh, I got some dope footage of screwing around with this drone and having the camera on. I got some quick buzz buys that on, on the gravel over the little water patches that we have over my head, flying really high up in altitude and whatnot. And I do fully intend on doing maybe like a highlight reel from this flight and the footage that I have because, again, for people dogging this drone, and for a $150 drone, essentially what I paid, don't pay retail. Retail's like $250. Don't pay that. $150 is cool. Do a price match. Um, I'm loving it. This drone has 
everything that you could possibly want for a time occupier. Um, I'm just going to say it like that. For time occupier, this definitely has it. Does this have the dopest camera? No, this don't have the dopest camera. Um, you, you're going to pay money to have the dopest camera. Does this have an all right camera? Absolutely. If you are in your backyard and you got neighbors around you and you want to take a shot of you guys, it's very easily done. If you want to check out the top of your rooftop and just fly straight up, you can do it. The quality of this camera is good enough to do it. Um, but as I'm showing you flyability, you can screw around with this all day. You you can you can do the whole toy grade type flying with this, and this is going to handle and it's going to perform a lot better than uh, your extreme toy grades like uh, X5 clone or even uh, some of your X8 clones. This is this is holding up to very well. There's a reverse lateral punch from this drone. I just did a reverse lateral punch with this drone. That has been held to the C, to the Bugs 3s and the Bugs 8s. That is a first. You've seen it here. J Drone just did a reverse lateral punch with the Sky Viper Pro. And uh, if anybody else says reverse lateral punch, you make sure you you tell them about it. That's J Drones. Um, I mean, if you get permission, I'm with it. You could use it. But uh, if somebody else starts using it relentlessly, call them on it because I done coined that. Um, we are getting down to crunch time here, guys. We are pushing the 17 minute mark. This thing is still flying. Um, and we've been recording, I'd say, about 60% of this flight. I keep turning the camera on and off, and your upper index finger, your pointer finger, uh, that will turn the camera on and off, and your right one. Your left one's camera, your right one is for uh, just take a picture. And there's a little punch outwards. This has some speed, guys. And again, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, do me a favor. Take your mouse, hover over that subscribe button. Come on, do it with me. Grab the mouse. Take it over the subscribe button and go click. Bam! It'll say you are subscribed. Um, and I appreciate y'all. I don't get nothing for y'all being subscribed. Um, no dollar value on subscribers. I just like having people watching my flights. I like having people in the know. I don't like people being tricked. And if you're watching my channel, you know you're not going to get tricked. You're going to get told how it is. You're going to see how it is. And I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing. Um, so that's a good reason to click that subscribe button. If you want to hit like on this, cool. If you want to hit dislike on this, cool. Um, if you're going to hit dislike, though, do me a favor down below and tell me why you disliked it. If it's because of all my jabber jong, I will uh, chalk that up as... I got you. Um, but other than that, this was a dope flight, guys. Again, I'm J Drone. If you have not subscribed, please do. Uh, we are going to stop uh, the app here. It says connectivity loss. We're going to shut the battery, shut the controller off. And then just to show you guys, there is no toggle on or off on this. So you have to use your thumbnail, stick it in there like a flathead screwdriver. You got to pop this out and you have to actually disconnect the battery terminals. One thing that I have noticed that is poor quality on this, the inside uh, female connector, the wires on it are starting to uh, lose the plastic coating. So I'm definitely going to have to go over with some electrical tape. Again, guys, take care and fly safe and have a great day.